Marriage of convenience means a marriage that is based on mutual understanding towards personal gains and benefits and does not involve liking, love, relationship or family as the goals for the matrimony. It is one of the most widely used themes and Thai dramas are no exception when it comes to the extensive use of marriage of convenience. Well, here's a look at 20 marriage of convenience in Thai dramas. Number 1. Full House Om is a writer who got swindled out of a house during her trip to Korea. She finds out that her house was sold to Mike and in an attempt to get her possessions back, she enters a contract marriage with Mike for one year. Though she lost everything, Om remains optimistic and takes things in stride. What started out as a business relationship between the two becomes personal as they start to care for each other. This is a rich boy poor girl story as in most of Asian dramas, but the lead couple prevented it from being boring. The two leads sold this simple story with their cute chemistry and beautiful visuals. They were too adorable and cute especially with their bickering and cute fights. So if you're looking for cute moments and are looking for a drama that can make you laugh, then this drama is for you. Number 2. Love at First Hate when a smart, handsome and a foul-mouthed doctor, Paniti or Dr. Pup met a hot, sexy and a thick superstar, Chloe, who is not his type and also he is not her type. They hated each other at first sight, but when they have to live together, something strange happened. It looks like Dr. Pup is falling in love with Chloe. To save his face from what he had said before that she is not his type, he's trying to act not to like her, but can he? What will the ending of this two be? Haters or lovers? The story isn't anything new and has very little originality to it, but due to its simplicity, it's a fun watch. It was cute and fluffy and filled with adorable moments and great side characters too. This show is great if you're looking for a light romantic comedy. Number 3. You Are My Destiny Pavut is the successor to a large company. Vanida is a secretary in a law firm. They both go on the same cruise with Pavut planning to propose to Kai Kai, his girlfriend, and Vanita planning on losing her virginity to her boyfriend. However, Vanita ended up taking a cold medicine which made her drowsy and accidentally went to Pavut's hotel room while she was drugged. They spent the night together. Three months later, Vanita finds out that she is pregnant. This is the only remake of Fated to Love You that I can rewatch. They even changed a bit of the story and it was good. This Thai remake has its own twist in it and it was delightful, happy, fun and beautiful to watch. Number 4. The Love Proposal Trinath got to know time because of an accident that happened to Trinath's student. This impressed time and he came to see her more often. However, Time was afraid to tell Trina that he loved her because he still couldn't forget his former love with Marisa. Instead, Trina decided to marry Touch, who happens to be gay. Touch urgently needed to get married and have children for his grandfather, Patana. It was the only way for Touch to keep his position as president of Methi Group. Time met Trina again as Touch's bride-to-be. He was in agony but needed to keep Touch secret from Orachun who could expose Touch and take his position. Chain, Touch's ex-boyfriend, began scheming for reputation and Touch's money. This chaos began to endanger Touch and Trinath. This is an incredibly thrilling, romantic, sexy and angsty drama starring Fern and Tree Porapat. A well-written lacon developed in a right way without adding any unnecessary scenes. This lacon is right up the alley with a dramatic lacon like Hua Jai Silla and Fa Mi Tawan when it comes to intensity of the plot and the characters. Number 5. My Secret Bride Swarm is a mischievous girl who grew up in the slums. 
she develops a crush on Dhanurut, a good cop. The first time she meets him due to his good looks and kindness. Swam is asked to become a spy for the police by an undercover deputy commander named Tuan. Her mission is to spy and get the evidence as an influential criminal named Sia Ha. Swam gets involved with Dhanurut again when he misunderstands that she is Ake's mistress who is his cousin's fiance. He hires Swam to be his fake wife to keep her away from Ake. Tuan believes this is the perfect opportunity to spy on Dhanurut, so Swam accepts his offer. She moves into his house pretending to be his wife because he needs her to follow his orders while she must spy into him. This lakon has an interesting plot that is marriage only to spy. But wait, there was another motive too and from both the parties. The story is always growing and is fast paced. The lead pair's unending bickering was too fun and keeps you hooked. It's quite different and refreshing from the other lakon. Number 6, When I Marry a Stranger. My Serene is a famous socialite who is engaged to Saru, but he left her on the day of the wedding. Kaditan is a 30-year-old real estate businessman who's waiting for pin money. His bride at the reception of a luxury hotel, but he saw her escape the wedding with another man. Kade walked out to a party at the beach where he met May, who was still in her wedding dress, drinking alone. They started drinking together and people thought they were a couple so they went along with it and he jokingly proposed to her afterwards they went back to the hotel and spent the night together in the morning may regretted what happened and wants to forget about kate but he's not going to give up on her this is not the near perfect drama but it won't disappoint you either even though this drama does have a couple of the typical thai drama cliche that is slap and kiss scenes in the beginning it's quite different from most thai dramas the male lead is very sweet and totally devoted to the female lead and the female lead is not your typical weak female that cries all the time and is dirt poor she is wealthy strong independent and sassy number 7 paragi thruk series youth fa ha pigat thruk Captain Karan Hanyakin received a secret mission to protect Dr. Irene Arya, a researcher whom he saved from a research facility that was bombed. With Dr. Irene's life in danger, Captain Karan's mission was to get married to her immediately. He is very uncomfortable with the idea of having Dr. Irene disguised as his wife. However, he couldn't disobey his commander in chief who wanted Dr. Irene to be under military protection 24/7. How will Captain Karan go about this mission? Number 8 Rying Pratanha Thai is a spoiled rich girl and a very demanding to Pitya who works as her father's company. He also happens to be an adopted son. Therefore, lowly status in Thai's eyes and worthy of bullying. She feels she can tell him to do anything and he must obey. Pit gives in to her out for respect for his adopted father. but he would much rather dance attendance to Ravi his girlfriend because of his girlfriend Pitya rejects the offer of marriage from Thai's father Thai can't believe he refused her and plans her revenge she tries to break up Pit's romance by pretending she and Pit have a closer relationship number 9 Roy Lee Sanae Luang Krau Supakan's life changed when he witnessed his mother committing suicide after being raped and then his father dying of grief. He was taken care by his uncle Pa. From a young age, he studied hard and worked whenever he had free time on Pa's grape vineyard. He excelled in school with one thing in mind, to take revenge on the Vichovet family. Dr. Vichovet passed away leaving his fortunes to his three children, the eldest son Asit, the second daughter On and Nooch. Asit is married to Lita. Number 10, Man Bang Jai. Phoeng Lada is a pretty high school senior who is very close with her father. On the day of her school's sports fest, her father, who was on his way to watch her, collided with Tain's car and passes away. Tain is a rich widower with her daughter and lives with his brother Tai. He offers to marry Phoeng Lada upon finding out that her stepmother Soi Thong was scheming to use her as a payment for the debts she owes to a man who runs gambling dens. Number 11, Kon La Kop Fa. Chanika returns home from abroad because her father is in the hospital. Upon returning home, she learns that her father is in a huge debt and they need money to cover the medical expenses. 
Her college roommate introduces her to a high paying job out in the suburbs. Chinnapath is the owner of a rubber tree plantation and hires Chanika as a favor to his cousin. They don't get along because Chinnapath has anger management issues and there are rumors about him. In order to avoid being engaged to his mom's friend's daughter, Chinnapath asks Chinika to marry him for a large sum of money. Will they ever learn to get along? Number 12, Roy Mann. Bee's cousin should have married Mark, but the day before the wedding, her cousin was kidnapped by a guy who had loved her for years. He kidnapped her, assaulted her, got her pregnant, and thus everything changed. The young and bratty Bee had to take the place of her cousin because it was a marriage to erase debt. Her uncle owed money to Mark and his father. Since he can't use his daughter, he'll use his niece instead. Number 13, Koza Rodza. Rosarin's family owns the largest Isani company for the production of fermented fish. When she returns from abroad after graduation, she finds out that her family's business is failing and is on the verge of bankruptcy. To overcome the crisis, Ross decides to leave the company and start to borrow money from her father's friend. To return his generosity, he asks Rosarin to marry his son Con, unsuccessful and a playboy, but Con's sister likes Ross a lot, so she will do everything to bring them together. After overcoming many difficulties and misunderstandings, the two fell in love. Number 14, Ton Rook Rim Rua. Who would have thought Nalin would be married 3 times? Not with any random guy, but to her best friend Cobb. He lives next door and they have been friends since childhood. First time they got married to please his dying grandma. It only lasted 7 days. They got divorced right after grandma passed away. Many years passed, they were still best friends. Nali needed to get married to somebody in order to get a promotion at work. She didn't have anybody, so she asked for his hand in marriage. This time it was different. He started to have feelings for her, but his move was too late because Nali just fell in love with another guy. What is he going to be? Her husband or her best friend? Number 15, you are my makeup artist. Vasita is a famous celebrity who was in the process of planning her marriage to her long-term businessman fiance when she discovered that he had been unfaithful to her. Trying to forget what he did to her, she accidentally ends up having a one-night stand with Gat, a makeup artist who she thought was gay. To make matters worse, because of that night, she winds up getting pregnant. In order to protect her reputation, Gat offers her a contract marriage. Number 16, Om Brook Napath is a beautiful but headstrong young lady. Napath decides to stay back in Thailand and earn her way through modeling against her father's wishes. During Napath's first magazine photo shoot, she meets a fast-mounted photographer Shen, who predicts she'll never be famous in the industry. Despite Shen's prediction, Napath turns out to be a huge success. Napath's lucky streak comes to a halt when she bumps into Shen for the second time. Due to a drinking competition during the party, both Chen and Napat get badly drunk and end up in bed together. It is in long before Napat realizes that she is pregnant. Number 17, Sapai Jao Sua. Chen, a Chinese Thai business tycoon, and his wife Liu had four sons. All of Chen's three sons helped Chen in his textile business, but Tri Wit, the youngest son, didn't want to be like his older brothers. He decided to become a policeman and left his home to move to the northeastern part of Thailand. There he met Phasai, the country girl who was a developer of her hometown. Trivit was transferred back to Bangkok, so he hired Phasai to marry him and to help him fight against his father. He brought her back home to try to make his dad accept what he wanted to be. Number 18, Jao Sao Gay Cat. Sai Rung doesn't want her sister Sai Phon to marry Tanu Pat and convinces her to run away. Now Sai Rung is in big trouble as she is said to be the replacement bride. What will she do? Number 90, Jao Sao Chapor Kit. Poom Ratana Bodin hires Yai Mengyu as his wife to stand in place of his girlfriend Deon Chai Chatakon while she is in school abroad in Japan. He hires her so that he wouldn't have to be forced to marry the girl Prakaifa Sopapan that his parents want him to marry. As the story goes on, Poom starts to fall in love with Yai and so does she. 
but she tries not to fall in love with him because his girlfriend is a best friend and she owes her friend a great value because of an issue that she and her family helped solve number 20 viva va voon a rich playboy named pavi is swindled into marriage by aradha a fortune teller for his money if he divorces her first he has to pay her 40 million baht if she can't tolerate him and divorces him first he doesn't have to pay her a dime the marriage becomes a competition or a declaration of war who will make the other person break first and have that person file for divorce which of these lakons you found interesting please let us know in the comments down below please be sure to like share and subscribe thank you